How you doing? This is Daryl Webster from Modern Workplace Change. Something has turned up uh, within Microsoft Teams on mobiles, and uh, it could be coming to your mobile soon. Uh, but as I was looking at meeting backgrounds, I noticed that we can do more than just blur our background from a Microsoft Teams mobile app. Now I discovered this when I was having a look at our um, adoption website. I've recently submitted a custom background uh, to drop into the gallery and I was taking a look at some of the instructions about how to change a background and I noticed that you can go through here and in the mobile section is a new um, area to tell you about how to change a mobile and there was all this extra stuff down here particularly uh, the plus button for adding your own backgrounds. So I wanted to go over um, that example and um, show you how to do it from a mobile phone. Um, so we'll just plug in here and take a quick look at Microsoft Teams on an iPhone. Okay, so we have a, I'm in the calendar area of my mobile app. Um, I'm going to start up a meet now because that's the easiest thing to do without setting up a meeting and our new options. Well, they're still under this background effects button. You can see that up on the top left hand corner that as I tap into there, it would normally just show me the blue background option that I can turn on and off. Uh, but now with our new options, we can add our own background. So we see some of those standard backgrounds that we have uh, from our desktops. One of the favorite ones I've seen people use is is this one here, so it does have some familiarity if you're going to use that. Um, but the, some of the fun that you will be able to have now is being able to add your own backgrounds underneath um, the plus button. So I know it's uh, a discussion that people had on the internet recently around whether rainbows were going to be um, or are on Mars uh, because of some uh, picture that was taken from uh, the, the mission over there and sadly determined that no, there's not enough moisture droplets and you couldn't condense it to form rainbows. But if you're having a bit of fun with some of the current events, then you might um, use a picture like that. Now the uh, other thing that I want to do is from here we can probably go in and download these custom backgrounds. So you can do that from your desktop. All right, um, but I'm going to do this on my mobile. Go to adoption.microsoft.com um, and in the menu it's underneath resources and you can go to custom backgrounds for Microsoft Teams. So you will find a, uh, a list of backgrounds that have been submitted um, underneath user submitted background and you too can submit your backgrounds my uh, submission has recently made it to the top of the list, just been added, so you could download that background. That's me uh, managing to go um, uh, stand up paddle boarding throughout the season. I'm going to save that image to my phone. And we'll go over and see if we can add this to our backgrounds. So what does this look like? Uh, not too bad. Now one thing I do notice is that you can't sort of move it around and center it around the, the content that you might want to focus on within a picture. Uh, so do keep in mind that uh, if you're holding a portrait, then it's going to appear like this. It looks like it's also a reversed image, but we might see something different once we're in the meeting. So I'm gonna select that, and I just wanna see, as we start the meeting, Sometimes I tend to hold my phone in landscape mode as well, and there's a, a trick around doing that where rather than you know this comfortable way of holding it, um, if you are going to watch a video in, in landscape mode, or maybe you want to um, also attend a meeting from landscape, then you might hold this and turn it around. Ah, there we go, right. So we do have and that is not sort of really turning out pretty well here on my, let's just drop this down here and I'll show you what I mean. There we go, so when I use landscape mode there, then I'm able to show that uh, from my mobile. Um, now, the other thing you'll note too is that if you were using your webcam on your computer, then it's going to be fixed. 
So there's none of this motion going on as as I'm holding a mobile phone, there's definitely more opportunity for motion. If I flip that back around to portrait there, for example, it might look a little strange and unusual as, as you're holding that phone and you're moving around. Um, so if you are going to attend a meeting and you're using backgrounds that are fixed rather than your natural background uh, without any backgrounds added, um, then of course your, your body is going to be moving around the top of that background. Um, now to go back in and change and turn that off, we'll go back into background effects at the bottom. And I'll show you what I mean if we turn that off. Then with the background moving around, it's more natural. It, it feels uh, like you are watching someone and the, the background moves with them. Um, whereas if you're using a background like this, then it is going to look a little funny, someone floating around there. If you're attending the meeting, and you're using a, a background like this from a mobile, I suggest that you get comfortable. And um, if you, let's just, uh, just change up the edges there so I can show you what I mean. Let's bring that over there. Right, so what I mean um, is if you are sitting down, you're going to attend a meeting. Um, I tend to, if I'm going to hold a phone for quite some time, I like to use my elbow against my torso. So that way it's going to give me um, more support as I'm holding that phone. And it's quite good for if I'm doing recordings as well like this. Um, but I, you know, more, more stable. And um, then I'm going to be able to hold that and look into it like this and attend the meeting. Even better if you do have a, um, a tripod, a mobile tripod. There are some, some good ones out there that allow you to use it and put it on your desk. But that'll work. Um, so here we are, we're attending the meeting. And um, the other thing I guess to consider too is a flattering angle. Sometimes people are holding the phone down here because that's the most comfortable for them. And you've got this gorgeous looking view right up my nose of, um, of that uh, you know, video on. Um, whereas this is the more flattering or the better, the better angle. You notice I'm also putting a fist underneath my elbow there. Uh, so that also helps further with support. Um, again, I'm going to be floating all around the screen and it looks a little unusual. But there you have it, there's an interesting way of uh, being able to add backgrounds and that is uh, definitely coming to your mobile phones soon. Um, these days we do see information published uh, early sometimes with um, with support.office.com so it is there. <clears throat> we did get get that information by going to custom backgrounds, but you could go into meetings and calls in Microsoft Teams, and in that category, you're going to find um, where to change your, your backgrounds. That was probably here in meetings, and something around here around changing backgrounds. Change your video background, there you go. Very cool. Right, well, um, Thanks for joining me here with uh, Modern Workplace Change. Um, keep subscribing to the various different content that I'm trying to create and share with you. Um, as you can see, I'm not about perfection. It's all about authenticity and being natural and not worrying too much about post-editing. But um, like this video if it has been helpful to you and a bit of fun and uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you can yeah, get notified when I produce more videos. We'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.